Welcome back to Shogun Showdown. I'm going to be rotating through characters. We are on our third character, I think, now. After playing the Ronin. Don't know what it's going to be, but we'll check it out in a second after I unlock, uh, I guess, two things here. We're going to try Twin Tessin. Not sure what it does, but I'm assuming since it costs 20, it's got to be somewhat interesting. And then Iron Skin, I guess. All right, let's see what the skill special ability is for the Shadow. Nice character design. You can face through enemies in front of them by moving forward. Is that oh, limited to one tile? So I can like teleport to the other tile behind the enemy? What if there's two enemies in front of me? That's interesting. So we got Swirl and Grappling Hook. Then obviously the rest are unlocked. Or locked, I mean. Let's get started. Pretty excited to discover like all the characters in this game since I've only played the first character prior to today. Or to release, I guess I should say, because this is not recorded on the same day as the other ones. All right. Let's see if I can get some combos going. Oh, wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait. There's no mention about this character's movement ability being, like, fully... Wait, that's not a one-tile movement. That's just, like, all the way to the edge. Wait, what the hell? How's this gonna work? How does the phase ability work? Wait, what if I... Can I phase through this by walking? No, I can't, so I'd have to go here. Interesting. Very interesting. This is gonna require a lot more consideration. Oh, this is weird. This is real weird. Like, it seems kind of good, right? I don't... What, what could the downside possibly be? Alright, let's test the phase here. Okay, it does actually work. Alright. Interesting. Very cool character. Definitely needs the grappling hook, though, because usually you want to juke enemies by moving one tile backwards, but I can't move one tile backwards, so then I I need to close the gap somehow. So I guess you could just teleport. Eh, maybe, it's, maybe it doesn't change anything, actually. This character's probably really good with ranged attacks. Alright, there's Twin Tessin. Strike the cells directly ahead and behind, pushing the targets as far back as possible. Deal collision damage if another target is in the path. So I could I could combo that with Swirl. Seems like it's basically a dragon punch, but multi-directional. Let's do it. I mean, we have the synergy for it. It's interesting. Should I... Hmm... I'll just pass and then grapple. Get a two combo. I don't even think it's worth it, but whatever. I might as well just kill it. Let's see, move back and grapple. Very interesting character. I do like it. Ooh, and I forgot this is also collision damage, so it's it's definitely got a lot of value here, potentially. But I can just do it here. So this is this should be considered as a two damage hit for the most part. That also shockwaves one damage, which is kind of cool. The problem is you don't want to move like casually this way. Like I, I just want to stay in this spot, so this character's gonna do a little bit more waiting probably. Kind of weird. I wanted to like, <laughs> like I think for the most part you want to go only one tile, but see what happens here. So I can wait here. I can do some. Eh, yeah, I can do. Wait, how do I do this? So I just go like. Wait, this is not gonna work, is it? No, this is not going to go as planned, I think. But I can move all the way. It's actually really good to close in on ranged enemies. Oh, it's not that. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, no, it did take collision damage. I was like, did, it, did the collision damage somehow fail? But no, 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 it's that one. So I could phase through here and then... Shit. Oh. Wait. Didn't I equip this? Oh, shit. I'm playing too fast again. I thought I had that in my action bar, but... I guess not. 
Minus one damage, minus four cooldown. That's pretty interesting. That's very interesting. I think I'm gonna... Ugh. So between Grappling Hook and Quintessen, that's... I don't really want something that does no damage. But this will do damage because of the collision, right? I think it's good enough. I should not have taken damage. I'll try to play whatever. At this point, I'm just trying to do the... Yeah, I'll just try to do the time thing. Instead of the no damage taken. One inch punch. Kind of weird, because <laughs> now I have to move back, right? Otherwise, I'm going to take damage. Alright, so this dashes forward and strikes the first enemy head. Okay. Mm, I guess I can just probably face through it. Whenever... Whenever I want to. <laughs> Still your own guy, buddy. Dash backwards, sure. There's this only works if there's collision with an enemy, right? It doesn't work on walls, does it? Guess we're about to find out. No. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Back. Ah, then I got to move. Well, no. Just... Can I kill here? Move that. Okay, never mind. It was. It's hard to evaluate HP bar because I think it differs depending on how far the boss is in the in the run. Plus one damage, plus one cooldown. Definitely not too bad. Any damage upgrade is worthwhile, I would say. I don't know. Actually, I'm not. I'm not good enough at this game to say for sure. I think there's a strat that involves just rerolling for just flat damage or flat cooldown reduction, but I don't know what the odds are. I haven't played this game enough to know what the yeah what the percentage chance is of getting what you want here, which would be just flat damage or flat cooldown. I'm assuming it's not that high. So I'm just going to settle for something safe. Sacrifice tile. I don't think I would want to do that early. Potion. I'm definitely going to sell Shockwave, Shockwave, Shockwave. Sounds fun on this. Hold up. How does Shockwave work with collision damage? Wait, what is this? Heal 1 HP when ex executing a triple combo. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, combo coin is so good. I'm mostly taking combo coin. I'm just curious. If you guys know how this works, do comment down below. So this says deals collision damage, right? Does the collision damage pop the shockwave? I'm so curious about that. I really want to test it. I might do it for science. That would be so sick. Shockwave spreads through. It doesn't sound like it would work, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm hesitating because this is definitely good. I would love to have that. I could sell two potions, I guess. Yeah, I could sell two potions. Let's do it, whatever. I'll make my money back. I don't need the potions on this difficulty. Cooldown, damage, I guess it's might as well just go here because I'll, I'll pick uh, I'll pick one after this. All right, really interested in testing this out. How do I do this? I wanna, well, I wanna turn around and grapple. For now, I can't really test it. Can I test it here? Yeah, I could. Right, let's try. So this should deal two, right? It did not work. All right. I mean, yeah, it's, it is what it is, I guess. Not much I have to say about it. So this will only work. This will only shockwave if the initial hit. So if there's an enemy right behind the enemy that I'm pushing. So if it doesn't travel at all. Which is kind of unfortunate, but 
I guess it is what it is, right? So we could do this, into this. Start with the... Wait. Mm, it's gonna be two combo, that sucks. I have no way of getting a higher combo than this, right? No, because I want to grab this. So this should kill, right? Yeah. Two combo, whatever. So that's definitely unfortunate. Curse. Next target. The, the curse, the first target I had, causing it to take uh, double damage. Pretty good. Definitely strong. Definitely worth it. It's free play as well, so might as well take it. It'll double. Basically, act as a three damage hit for free, which is pretty good. Cooldown's kind of absurd, though, but. It is what it is. Mm. Let's see, how can I do this? Just grab. Again. Ah, there is a problem, yeah. There's a lack of synergy with pushing and wanting to kill two at the same time. It's just very weird. So I guess I just do this then. I guess I shouldn't do that. Yeah, this is getting really awkward. It's not really fitting in my game plan very well. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Uh, do I want to combo here? Not necessarily, I guess. Can combo in the next wave. It's so awkward. I thought it was gonna work better than it is currently working. So I do this push, kills this, kills that. So it's a three. Really good at dodging the spearman, though. That's pretty nice. So this does one here, one here. It's like, it's so bad. So it'd be more like... Oh wait. I should have left... Oh yeah, I, don't, I should not have taken that off. Whoops. I missed a combo here. I could have grappled for the last point of damage. I, I just didn't really think about that. My bad. And just go here. This does shockwave two. So let's see if it does two. Yeah, okay, it does. It. Wait, it also does one to the main target as well. So it's technically doing two to the main target as well. Plus one upgrade slot. No. Okay, I'm gonna see how rolling aggressively works for me. Ugh. No. How much am I supposed to reroll when there's a shop right behind it? It's so ah, it's so hard to know. I don't think you're supposed to do anything. I should not have rolled. I don't know what the correct strat is for this game. So what does this do? Just regular guy? Okay. Just do six. This, this is really kind of pointless, but... It is kind of nasty to be able to move for two. <laughs> That's for sure. I don't know why I would cast that. Oh. Uh, yeah, I probably have to phase... Or I guess I could just push it. I'm gonna wait. Oh, uh, never mind. I was gonna say that might be a mistake, but seems like it was just fine. All right, can I combo? Yeah, I can. Does it? Wait, does it combo? Actually, I'm not even sure. 
Plus one damage, plus one cooldown. <laughs> uh, mm. I mean, I want a high damage hit to synergize with Curse, for sure. But like, this is getting pretty high cooldown, which is kind of scaring me a little bit. Let's go. So cooldown upgrade. Could be good on the curse. I feel like I just want this to go to five. Just, that's probably what I'm going to do. Enemies inflicted. Yeah, okay. Blood point. Definitely do that. All right. I think that's somewhat acceptable. Let's try to, I'll try to play a little bit faster. It's kind of hard. I'm still, still don't feel too comfortable here, especially with new characters. Feels like I don't want to make a dumb mistake or anything, but at the same time, I am on a timer here, so. Wait, what? How did that not do? Oh, no, it did do one. It was only. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, am I wrong? That feels wrong to me. I don't know. Something doesn't feel right about that. Was I. I was expecting two damage, why? Yeah, one from Collision and one from Shockwave. Oh. Weird. Maybe because it wasn't one HP. Wait, was it a one HP unit? I don't even know. Such high cooldown. Oh shit. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay. Uh, no way out of this. Whatever. So, for shockwave, is this gonna do two? Uh, I don't know. It does. Oh shit. I'm just playing this so f ah. So frustrating. I'm just gonna go grab the uh, ocean after this. So this doesn't do any damage against walls, right? Let's see. No. Okay. Minus two cooldown is pretty good. Wish it was on this, but... Alright. Let's grapple this. Wait for the next wave. Shockwave... That's two, right? Yeah. Okay, I almost made a big misplay there too. Holy shit. But it's not a huge deal. I, I, again, I do think the, the health... Health total is not too important on this difficulty. So, yeah. How do I do this? Can I? Yeah, I can, right? I can do this, this, this. Wow. Whoa, that's like, that's ridiculous, actually. Damn, I wish it was on this. But this is already really good. If I find a really high damaging skill, which I do, but a lower cooldown one, it's going to be absolutely disgusting on bosses. All right, I have to deal with the archer here. I might have to up the damage of this to use it as a ranged attack a little bit more often. Wait a minute, how does this work? Shit, I right clicked on accident. I forgot that was the keybind for uh, releasing the attack. I have to do this then. 
I'm gonna test it. So this is expected to do two damage, right? It did three, so it doubled. Okay, so it doubles any instance of damage, not necessarily from an attack. Okay, that's interesting. Pretty cool, actually. So it doubles the bounce damage as well. Uh, yeah, I'll just cast that. Why not? gonna deal two I don't have the I can set this up actually I can do push grab you might hear my dog a little bit sorry about that oh wait this is kind of annoying actually let's go here oh shit oh Again, that's not a big deal. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Is there a good way of doing this? Just go here, go here. I just want a two combo, I guess. Alright, you are dead. In spears. No, I don't want this potion actually. To heal. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I never knew that. If you push an enemy into a one health. Oh, okay, I get it. I get. I get why I didn't do the damage before, so it just it doesn't count as a collision anymore, it just That's really interesting. I can't believe that actually is how it works, okay. Well I'm happy to learn that though now. It's gonna be more important that I know that in the future. one damage that's pretty decent I, again i do think the grapple should probably go up it's that or this but having a range attack is pretty useful even though it's actually it's pretty low cooldown all right let's see what we can do here I'm trying to think so it's, pro it's probably gonna be this this i guess Wait, can you phase only 40? Yeah, you can. Okay. Just like every power, I guess. Uh, sure. Pretty, pretty damn easy fight. Yep. Good stuff. I feel pretty good. Meteor Hammer, strike the first target up to three cells ahead. If successful, it bounces back to hit the cell directly behind it. Oh, I do remember this. This is sick. Yeah, this is really sick. Very cool range deck. It doesn't have too much range, but it's really it's a really cool attack. I remember playing with it. Sacrifice of Tile gets 40 coins. Pretty good. Um, But I mean... Kind of like everything here. Even the push is useful. It's low cooldown. Shockwave's not very good. I will eat this. Let's keep going. Damage upgrade. Damage upgrade for the, for the ball would be nice. Yeah. Just keep going for that. Alright. We have this. 
this. Sure. I mean, I might as well use this, I feel like. Oh. I keep forgetting that one health units just do not count as collision. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, three tiles ahead, this will work. Now we just stall. Try to find a way to do some more damage here. Maybe... How do I do this? Maybe... Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to find a three combo here. It doesn't look that doable. So this will collide for two. I guess I just have to do it. Just gotta forget it at some point. I'm just gonna play a little bit faster. Why not? Five. Such a waste here. So will this still two to this? Well, okay. Oh. I made that mistake again. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I keep forgetting enemies can spawn behind me and just completely screw me over. Mmm eh, kind of unfortunate, but. on cooldown that's pretty good probably oh that's a two slot upgrade wow wow okay um hmm. do i want to lower the cooldown of this or do i want to up the damage probably up the damage i'll just lower the cooldown of this as a multi-hit attack i'd rather it have higher damage oh this is bad I gotta find a way out of this. I already... Oh, wait, no, it's fine. Let's do this. Figured it out. Oh, that moved back. Are you kidding me? No! Why did you have to move back? Now what? I guess I just changed the... Oh. That works. He just did two damage to his ally. <laughs> Forgot about that. Mmm. A similar thing here. I'll just get a two combo. Oh, that was not a two combo. Oops. Just let the next wave spawn in here. Two, two, so we can just do get a three here, I guess. Whatever. Reasonable. Plus one damage, plus one cooldown. I don't hate it on this. I, I really just don't think this needs to be. Okay, I could reroll. I have so much gold. No. One more. Shockwave. Mm. It's not bad, but... Let's skip. I don't want to up the cooldown anymore, I think. Just wanted... I guess I really did want damage on this. It might have been a mistake to not accept it. And just let it die, whatever. Wee! <laughs> He's so, this character's so weird. I, I kind of like it. Pretty fun. I mean, I might as well just... Go for this. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that is enough. I was like, what? Is this enough? Oh, it's only enough for 
to. Well, I'm just gonna. I'm trying to play fast because I want to um, keep the runtime pretty low. Also, potentially get the the badge for. Uh, what is it like? Thirty minutes? Okay, thirty minutes is impossible. Never mind. We're not getting that. We are definitely not getting that. Arrow. All right, never mind. I'm gonna change my plan here. I'm gonna go for this. Just gonna kill that. Kill that. Grapple this. All right, never mind. I'm just taking this off then. I want to clear the way for me to just one hit this backliner. Might be a similar thing here. Let's see. Not quite enough, no. But that's okay. Good enough. I gotta I have this reroll. Okay, minus one cooldown. Eh. Everything's so low cooldown already. I guess might as well. Alright, this is the statue. It doesn't move. Launches attacks consistently. Might as well get everything out. As fast as possible. Oh, that is not good. Do I have time? I think I might. Yeah, I do. It doesn't launch it very fast. Oh, shit. I can't... Oh, this character can't... Alright, whatever, I'm just gonna crack this. I forgot that this character can't... So, this is only if, if, if successful, right? Yep. Can't move one tile, so this is actually a much harder boss than with other characters, I think. Because you can't just stand, like, right here. But it is what it is. Just the summon is a huge pain. Okay, that's fine position. Should I turn around here? I don't think so. I'm just gonna wait. It's also nice that you can close the gap immediately, though. As it has its ups and downs. It's just you can get trapped by the summon backwards. Spear, spear's good. Again, like range attacks just seem so good on this character. Spear. Eh. When you take damage automatically again, a shield's super broken. Let's just go for plus one on this. Should I go again? Just go bring it to four. Ah, fuck it. Let's do it. Try to speed run the rest of this run. I don't really care if I take damage now, I just have so much. Ah, uh, whatever. Free shield, I'll take it. <laughs> Why not? Alright, maybe I'm playing this too terribly. I mean, I definitely am. <laughs> this is dreadful. It's absolutely terrible. A little bit too fast. Too careless. Still gotta be somewhat meticulous, otherwise I'm gonna... Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. I mean, I have the shield. This is fine. I can just do this. Take the damage here. Wait. Actually, I can't wait. No, I can't. I should not have used that. Oops.
Curse. Mm, don't care. Reroll. Oh wait, I can reroll at any time, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. I should have waited. So let's go let's go for shuriken damage. I can try to get a few combos here, I guess. I would love to have this chain ball be at five. That would be so sick. But obviously, it's not looking very likely that that's going to happen. I can wait one more turn, right? Let's just stack this. Get a three combo. Three piece. I don't know, I guess I'll prep this, who knows. Yeah, it's gonna work. Don't even need this. Yeah, sure. I should turn around here. Just in case, I guess. I don't know why. Why did I... Oh, whatever. Shield, shield, shield. This is not going to be enough damage, is it? Unless... Uh, no. Again, ordering is just bad here. But whatever, I'll just, do I'll just get rid of the archer. I like to have to push before is the problem. Oh, that attacks immediately, I forgot. Yeah, that doesn't have to wait. I was trying to wait. Oh wait, there's no more wave. Oops. <laughs> Thinking of waiting for the next wave and getting a three piece, but nope. First every turn, hey, why not? <laughs> why the hell not? It's not even that good, really, but... Ugh. This was a mistake. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. I keep forgetting to pause the game. My bad. Um... Let's see. What can I do here? Fine, I'll just do this. Shield. This, this. Oh, wait, I can't stand there. Uh, whatever. I'm just gonna kill one, let the next wave spawn. It's fine. We got two, stand here, four, ah, whatever. Oh wait, I could have done this as well, true. Oh, fuck, <laughs> this archer is always, <laughs> Same thing here. Double archer. What a pain. But I have... Whatever, I have the shield. I think I will just pop this. I'd rather pick this up. Let's see, is there any way... To not take damage? No. I guess I have to kill it before the next wave spawns. Five, four, so I guess this for two. Three, I mean, three. And I can get another three, probably, on this side. Unless that decides to just kill it straight up, but 
I can just do this, right? Come here, boy. Oh, this thing is so broken. All right, freeze targets for two turns. Pretty, pretty good, but like, bosses are immune to that, so. Cool. Nice one. Cool down. Not really what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna skip. How do I do this? Maybe... Maybe I will grab... Not enough damage, but... So be it. The curse every turn is insane. <laughs> or every other turn, I mean. Super crazy. Is this a good play? Maybe. Let's do this. Oh, thought I would die there. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I can't even dodge. Uh, whatever. I have shield. Who cares? I thought it might be dead there, but misjudged the HP bar. And it's kind of hard to tell. Also on damage, that's definitely good. I think I might upgrade this. I feel like, I feel like it's worth it. I think I'm lacking. It's lacking a little punch. Where's Gamble's almost never worth it. Combo shop, I guess. I don't think the enchant upgrade is necessarily good. Unless it's poison. Double strike. I don't hate that. Combo reduces cooldown. I mean, that's kind of insane, actually. When you use two consum consumables in the same turn, receive a random new one. Alright, fine. I'll take this double strike. I guess I don't... I don't know if I necessarily need this. To be like a low cooldown skill, so... So be it. Also, I could reset its cooldown with a combo thing. So like here, for example, wait, how does double strike work? Does it ricochet? Does it hit the next one? So we're going to find out. Let's see. Okay, it does. It just, it just sends the attack out twice. All right. Wait, that did reduce it. Wait, that's insane. Wait, this is absurd. Holy shit. That is so absurd. Amazing. No difference, right? So any attack that kills two directly at the same time does count towards the combo kill, which is awesome. How do I do this? I could do five, four, three. It's kind of... I guess I'm gonna just grab first. Combo, combo. Wait, this is actually broken. <laughs> I did not realize it was that good until uh, until now. Until I, I'm seeing it in action now, it just seems. I will probably almost always take this thing. So you're telling me this is gonna be like zero cooldown, right? Very good run right now. Very solid run. So this does one dies. This does two, but then I can't kill that. But let me just test this. So this should kill this and deal two to this, right? Yeah. All right, sure. little three piece here very nice watch this <laughs> cool 
Uh, let's see. So. Or. It's lacking a little bit here. I can beat it, I guess. Wait, I could do this too. Oh, wait, no, this doesn't work. I keep forgetting about that. And now I'm stuck too. So I guess I change my plan then. I just go for this. Very awkward, but. I just wait for it to. Uh... This was also a mistake. Hit. I really messed up here. That's okay. It's not, it's not a game losing mistake by any stretch. Just could have gotten a three combo somehow, but. Also on damage, yep. On a double hit, very high value. I hate Nobunaga. But it's fine. It's cool. It's a pretty cool fight, I guess. Alright, so spear. I gotta bait him into the light. Come here, boy. Oh, I can drag him into the light. Whoops. Oh, but it's so hard for my character because I can't choose my tile. What I'm going to do is just prep for a range attack, probably. Yeah, I, I kind of want to tank that, but it just, it just feels so bad. Ooh, let's test this with a... Um... Yeah, let me test this. So, multi-striking with curse. How is this going to work? Is it just going to hit... Is it just going to proc on the first hit? Okay, that's pretty much what I expect from that. Alright. I'll just take the two, so be it. Oh, it's not in the light. Whoops. I just kind of assumed it was over there, but... <laughs> Obviously, it's not. So annoying. Oh, I can stop here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. This might work. I can do this. Cool. Almost there. Plus one damage on the multi again. Why not? So multi is definitely not as good with curse, right? Plus one damage again. There's only one slot left. So plus one when attacking from behind. Alright, it's well. Just just to, oh I don't have the money. Whoops. I'm poor. Build seems good. Pretty happy with it. Kinda wish this was five, but again. Not much I can do about it. Only has two upgrade slots. Get a three piece here. See, so this. I feel like I should just cast this. Let's go with the ball. Let's go with this. Amazing. So good. So good. Oh, I fully refresh because it's... Oh, it's so good. It's a double hit, so if it kills two different targets, it resets its cooldown entirely. That's absolutely insane. It's like, I can do it again here. Wow. So good. So good. Absolutely amazing. Wow, this is like the best... <laughs> this is probably the best thing I've ever had in this game, maybe. It's uh, pretty wild. Ooh, kind of hard to sequence here. Actually, it's not possible to sequence. Because it's a multi-hit immediately. So there is no way for me to get a bigger combo in this. Whatever. I mean, there is, but it's 
too annoying. Not gonna bother. Oh, and that didn't reset because it didn't... Uh, okay, I see. Okay, now that this does one, it's pretty interesting. Oh, I'm not gonna kill that. Eh. Just, just, just hit me, whatever. Go right ahead. Hit me with it. Perfect strike. Nope. Curse. Uh, eh. It's more. I don't know. Curse is like whatever. Minus two cool down. I just want damage. Like this thing is not. I mean, I guess it's the biggest combo with this. I don't know. Whatever. Just rolling because. I'm a Gamba addict. It's fine. Alright. Let's go here. Let's go... Might as well just fully range, right? Start things off. Really good damage. Oh. Oh well. It is what it is. So there's gonna be a spear there. Dead. Next phase. Come here. So that's center teleport plus beam. Alright, sure. Oh, that's three. T that's three tile range. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Whatever. Is that backwards? That looks backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Hit me with that one damage, buddy. See what happens. All right. Cool. Cool build. As always, difficulty one. Really easy, but. Is what it is. I mean, it is really fun. I feel like this game. I feel like sometimes games on when when they're a little bit too easy, they, they don't feel super fun to play. But I feel like this game, because you can play fast, there's no real restriction on your speed. It does feel really good to just like blast through. I, I didn't even play that fast. Like I was still trying to min max HP. I, I just feel like it's just too ingrained in me as a roguelike player to not waste HP. But. <laughs> Obviously, it's not something you need to do on day one. If you want to go for the 30 minute, like you can see here, right? Like I couldn't do it again. Like I just, I will do it eventually, Swift Killer. But it's really like super brute forcing. Unless you're super good at the game. If you're really good, you probably still don't take any damage or you take a little damage, but you probably just want to take damage on purpose to speed it up, I think, for the most part. Again, unless you're like, an absolute genius, which right now I'm I'm definitely not at this uh, stage in the game. All right, I'll be excited to play with the next character in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.